All right, welcome back everyone. Hope you're doing well. It is not a good day for a certain beloved content creator. Call Me Carson is in hot water right now because of certain allegations that have come out against him. Now, if you don't know Call Me Carson, um, he's a big YouTuber, big streamer. He plays Minecraft. People find him funny, awkward, blah, blah, blah. That's about it. I swear to God, here on YouTube, we can't go a month without a situation like this happening. Like last month, it was about Pyro. This time about Carson, it, it just keeps going and going. So pretty much, what happened, right? Um, there's two places where the story started. Number one is Keemstar, of course. He uploaded a new drama alert video called Call Me Carson Serious Allegations. And in this video, he brought Call Me Carson's friends into the interview, and they pretty much said that Carson admitted to them to texting underage girls. They also said that Carson apparently told the entirety of Lunch Club about it, which is like six different people, and that's why like the, their group disbanded. Now the Drumler episode itself was pretty vague. There was no like actual victim who came out and said that, hey, I was harassed by Carson. But Twitter's a different story. A Twitter user actually came out and said that Call Me Carson groomed me. Now this person is 18 years old now, but she claims this happened at age 17, which is obviously pretty recently. So if you Google Call Me Carson's age, right, um, it says that he's 21 years old, born in May. Now this means that all the stuff happened when Carson was age 19 or borderline 20 or 20 itself. So that is a two or three year age gap, right? And apparently Carson lived in Indiana where the age of consent was 16. Now, um, there's a massive debate going on on Twitter about that, like, is this okay? Is this legal? It's legal in my state, it's not legal in that state, uh, a lot of stuff like that. Some people are saying that it's being overblown and it's just a couple year difference, and some people maintain that it's actually really serious. Age of consent is 16 in most states. Age of consent, man, that's not what you need to go by. Uh, 16 is most states, but nobody really wants to see a 24 year old man f 16 year old. But 19 and 17, that's, uh, again, I don't see anything wrong with that. That's two years, you're literally in the same f grade. You are in the exact same f grade. I don't see the problem with 19 and 17. There is undoubtedly more that's going to come out about this situation. So yeah, so just stay tuned for that, I guess. Subscribe for that. But um, yeah, get ready. Let's We're about to dive into the allegations and all the messages. Okay, here we go. Um, Grooming, comma, thing, comma, Carson situation. I can personally come out and say that I've been groomed by Carson. I've talked to many people and never came out about this since now. At the time, I was still 17 and in high school. I jokingly tweeted at Carson, be my boyfriend, on my old account. He didn't reply to the tweet and went straight to my DMs. I don't have an old SS, but I have some Discord messages. Continued. Here's a few things things that he said to me and she's attached like a bunch of screenshots. I'm scared. I want to talk to you for the wrong reasons. Elaborate. What if I only want to talk to you for the freaky part of it? I don't want that, but like I'm worried about it. What if subconsciously I'm only talking to you because it turns me on or something? Is that really what you want? What other options are there and what would you want to happen? I don't know. All I know is every time I jack off now, I have a really hard time not thinking of you. I guess my brain got stimulated and now it wants more, you know. Oh god. Sorry it was in school, but yeah, I get that. Um, what if we read on Snap and next time you're horny, we can have some fun again? I just don't want that to be the only thing we do, you know? Yeah, but frick, Sam, you're hard to resist. So are you. I feel like this is all my fault. Damn. If anything, it's my fault because I can't control myself. Freaking hell, I want to, but it's a bad idea. Not gonna lie, I'm getting scared, getting your hopes up or something. I'm willing to try, but it's such a bad idea, but so is fricking you. We should add back on Snap. What do you think? Sounds good to me. But like I said, I don't want it to just be freaking, you know? I wouldn't mind calling and watching things together or play something, you feel? Yeah, I feel you. Just hit me up next time you're horny. I'll, I'll leave it up. I'll leave it up to you for when we do freaking stuff. PAX is fun. The town I live is all white people. I wanted to go to PAX but completely forgot to get tickets. Next year, I think I'm going with my friend. Bro, we could have gone on a date. Now, here we have a message that's being quoted a lot. Um, when do you turn 18? I needed to talk to a fan that just turned 17 that I'm interested in getting to know better. Despite my own concerns, given the circumstances of the situation and their own list of problems weighing it down. After that, she shows apparently like Call Me Carson's Discord tag. Then we got a screen recording trying to prove that it's real. She then says to anyone else who experienced this, I'm hurting so much for all of you. No one deserves this. I'm here to talk. Thank you all. Sorry for shaky hands. Some of you wanted to see more proof. So here's me showing our messages in a phone video, not screen recording. And then she's attached a recording of her Discord, just scrolling up and down, clicking on Carson's profile. And then Chad or anything for 
review said that Carson and Kate were never dating. Carson hadn't even held her hand. Fitz entered the room and asked Carson if they're dating. He said no. Fitz then said, is it cool if I hit on her tonight? Carson said that it didn't bother him. Fitz laid pipe and then Carson set the stands on him. So pretty much now what's happening is that people are questioning the legitimacy of the entire previous situation. Like, if you weren't aware, a while back, Kate Arena was blasted for cheating on Call Me Carson with a YouTuber named Fitz. And back when this happened, every single person, like, unanimously was on Carson's side, right? Because everybody wanted Fitz and Kate Arena to apologize, and both of them even apologized. They admitted that, hey, I cheated, um, I was a, a bad friend, blah blah blah. But now, apparently, it seems like Carson wasn't even dating her. I have no clue if this is true, but he tweeted this out, and then he deleted it, and uh, a bunch of people were, like, corroborating this as well, so it's all a blur now. It's, it's pretty messy. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I guess the only the people involved know. All right, so now there's a content creator named Joko who's come out with another allegation and, like, a video explaining it. I do not want any false narratives being spread about this. This has been hanging over too many people's heads for long enough and there needs to be zero doubt that Carson exchanged the thing with minors. I'm not into kids, but I did trade with people under the age of 18, which is very bad. I was 19. That's all you need right there. That's Carson's profile. There you go. There's all the stuff for that. And then if you go down to the very bottom, grooming Julia Carson situation, this tweet, he says, this is absolutely disgusting. I figure you guys will be seeing this sooner or later, but yeah, absolutely gross messages confirming that this is true. Okay, so apparently here we have some messages saying, but I did trade things with people under the age of 18, which is very bad. There's always key details Keem will purposely leave out to make it look bad. It's easier for views. Of course. Was that when you were also under 18 or were you of age? I was 19. I think it's real. I can't believe I said those things. I want to barf so badly. Can you find the DMs? Because a bunch of people are saying it's fake. I can't find them but they're real. Long story short, when I was 19, uh, I thinged a couple viewers that were 17. Extremely regrettable and incredibly embarrassing. Felt guilty since. Apologized to them both and resolved it privately last year. Then Keem got a hold of it like two days ago. Alright, so I think everything depends on the legitimacy of these messages right now. And it's looking pretty bad, not gonna lie. Uh, I wonder how he'll respond to this, honestly. But let's head back to the Dromler interview. I'll cut it up into the certain parts that I thought were the most interesting. Uh, so I do have uh, two close members uh, of Carson that were a part of the lunch club, Noah and Travis on the line. Guys, what happened? How did this all come about? Uh, one day in March, he called me uh, shortly before he told Travis. Uh, everybody was up in L.A. and he told most of them face to face, but he called me. And I picked up the phone and he was basically like, I have to tell you something. And then he told me that he did underage girls. And I think that he said that they were fans. I mean, yeah, that he told all of us at the same time. I mean, I I'm sure that when this is posted, none of them are going to deny that this is the truth because I mean, they were there. I don't think they have any real reason to lie. We were all led to believe that, you know, th that Katerina cheated on Carson when you know, come to find out they weren't even really together, right? That's what I was told. But yeah, there we have it. Um, That sums up pretty much everything that's gone down so far. If anything more happens, I will try to cover it. So do subscribe, you know, smash like, all that jazz. A lot of people are pretty devastated right now, Um, especially the Call Me Carson fans. But, you know, uh, take a look at his response when he comes out with it and then come to your own conclusion, right? Anyways, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.